Santa Monica Update, your source for local news in Santa Monica. The City of Santa Monica Police Department takes pride in protecting and keeping residents and tourists safe. Keeping all of us safe means that city departments must communicate and work together to investigate cases and solve crimes in an efficient and timely manner. One of those departments is the Santa Monica Crime Lab, which plays an instrumental role in breaking many cases. Yana Kay gives us an exclusive behind-the-scenes look to see how they do it. And right now I'm examining an article of clothing using an alternate light source, and I'm looking for any potential non-blood body fluid stains which may be on the article and are not necessarily visible to the naked eye. However, with the use of an orange filter, uh, the stains become visible by focusing on the fluorescence that the stain is emitting. Forensic specialist Nick Manning has been with the Santa Monica Police Department's crime lab for more than five years. He says helping bring criminals to justice is what he enjoys best. My favorite part is actually being able to go to a scene where you don't know who has committed the crime and to come away with a fingerprint and be able to find out who the person was that actually did the crime. It's Manning is one of six forensic specialists whose job is to respond to a crime scene and collect any physical evidence, which gets brought back to this lab to get processed. So Lisa, this is the forensic lab. Yes. Tell me about what you have in here. Uh, we have tons of equipment. We have the drying chamber, which we use to dry any type of evidence that we may bring from the field. Uh, we will dry blood, urine, semen, any evidence that is liquid, we will dry um, so that we can do the actual processing and packaging. There's also a machine called a vacuum metal deposition chamber that uses gold, zinc, and high heat to develop fingerprints off an item that has been exposed to the environment from seven to 10 years. Now let's take a look at one of the ways forensic experts develop fingerprints. Now first, I have to put on this lab coat. Now this is the rules of the lab. Now, actually, I've always wanted to wear one of these. So anyway, Lisa here is going to help me out. Now, she's taken a white piece of paper, and I put my handprint on this white piece of paper. She's now going to take that, and she's going to dip it in a chemical solution. And after a few minutes of drying in a dryer, this is going to be the result. In any given year, the crime lab processes about 700 cases, resulting in physical and biological evidence. Our primary goal is to assist uh, the criminal justice system in, uh, in their pursuit of justice. And in doing that, we do that with science. That being, you know, the uh, analysis, the collection of the particular evidence. Evidence that can make all the difference in a criminal case. I'm Yana Kay for Santa Monica City TV. For more information on how to get involved in your community, just go to santamonicapd.org. Well, that's it for this edition of Santa Monica Update. I'm Gail Choice. For all of us at City TV, thanks for watching.